I'm Brianna Mordick. I'm a geologist with NRDC. One of the issues I've been working on lately is the earthquakes that have been tied to hydraulic fracturing and to the underground disposal of oil and gas waste. Uh, so geologists have known for a long time that when you inject fluids underground you could cause earthquakes and earthquakes that are strong enough to be felt at the surface. The problem is that the people who own these wells and the people who operate these wells aren't required under state law or under federal law to take that risk into account when they're deciding where they're going to put the well and how they're going to operate. It. Geologists have documented these earthquakes all over the country. The most recent incident that people are probably aware of is the one in Ohio, but there have also been cases in Texas, in Arkansas, in the Rocky Mountains. As we see oil and gas production continue to spread across the country, as more and more of this waste has to be disposed of somewhere, it's possible that we could start seeing more and more of these earthquakes all around the country. The technology used to get oil and gas out of the ground has evolved really rapidly, but the problem is that regulation hasn't kept pace. And so whether it's earthquakes or whether it's drinking water contamination, we're working with industry and with the regulators to see that if oil and gas drilling is done, it's done as safely as possible to protect public health and to protect the environment.